In this video, we will present the integration of Squish Cocoa in the Wind River Workbench. We assume that Wind River Workbench and Squish Cocoa are already installed. The sample project is one real-time application based on a VxWorks image. First, we need to change the toolchain to use Squish Cocoa wrappers instead of GCC. Open the Project Property dialog with the Context menu. Then, go to the Build Properties and select the Active Toolchain. Then go to the Variable tab. Set the toolpath to point to Squish Coco instead of bin. Squish Coco is the compiler wrapper provided by the Squish Coco installer. After this step, it is possible to build the system as before, but additional command line options will be available for instrumenting the code. Now go to the Tools tab. Add to the tool flags the switch CS-ON. This will activate the instrumentation and the code coverage support. CS-MCC will add the support for MCDC and MCC instrumentation, the highest safety levels. Do the same operation for the C++ compiler and the linker. Now the project need only to be rebuilt. We start the application on the simulator, but it could also be on a real target. The application is now executed. We can now leave the Eclipse IDE and inspect the result. We search first for the CSMES file, which contains the instrumentation information, and open it with the coverage browser. It is generated on the host file system in the build directory. The complete code can now be inspected, but nothing is covered. We need to load the execution report, the .csexe file, from the target. On the simulator, it is simply in the workspace directory. Now it is possible to inspect the coverage report of this simple test. Thanks for watching. If you have further questions, get in touch with us by writing an email to squish at froglogic.com. You can check out Squish on your own by requesting a free trial. You might also be interested in our second product, Coco, which is a multi-language coach coverage tool. Don't forget to check out our YouTube channel for more videos. Bye bye!